welcome back baseball fans 69 72 carryover league another interleague battle between the arizona diamondbacks and the chicago white Sox in a best of three the first game was played in arizona wood wilbur and the white Sox. wilbur wood goes on the road gets that win beating jim willoughby so we come back to chicago comiskey park looking for a two-game sweep let's look at the standings as we are getting closer to the all-star break here um look at this the white Sox are 12 and 10 and uh there's a game behind the twins and the uh the diamondbacks and yeah, we thought you know they were going to struggle but not as badly as the Rockies are. Portland has been steady at the top of this division, for what that's worth. It's usually a year-by-year -year basis in this division. Some team doesn't suck, and Portland doesn't suck this year. The other three teams are kind of doing that. Very disappointing year. Let's... The Rockies have just four wins, so they've got to just go on a tear, and they can. they got the best bats in the division, so that remains to be seen what's going to play out. But you gotta like the White Sox. They were an afterthought, and they now have a chance to compete for a playoff spot, folks, which is crazy. Crazy town. So today's starting pitchers for the Diamondbacks. Juan Pizarro, one of their first picks in the draft. And I see he's really a starter eight and pretty darn good one. Darn good one. And Stan Bonson for the Chai Sox. Let's get started. It'll be Steve Braun leading it off. 58. Is this guy to right? Popovich, 37. Single one four lines out. George Thomas, two sevens a K. Alright, Aparicio, 46. Single 108 is a base hit. See Steeler, but Howard's got a well he's got a good arm. Minus one arm, he's not going anywhere. Walt Williams, 58 is a K. Carlos May, 67 is a K. And Bill Melt won. He does not melt one. He bounces a short. We go to the second. Easy. Ed Herman, 33. Rolls to the first baseman. Jim Lytle, 610. Lytle off the Bonson card with power. It is gone. one nothing Zona. Larry Howard, 610. Same thing, but for right-hander. Homer won a 7 double. And he rolls a 20, so that's a double. Dalton Jones, we're in scoring position. One seven's a walk, two on, one out. Bleffrey, four ten, short X. But this is Aparicio, he's a good one. Two E21, I believe. Yeah, he is a two E21. And no, he gets up a cheap single. Couldn't get a grip on it. They rolled a, they rolled a hit. And you've got the bases loaded, one out. Philippe Allo, playing back. Four four, catcher's card. Josephson, 3 5. Looking for a foul out if you can get it. You get a ground ball C. Well, that gives, you, gives an RBI to Felipe Alou in that case. Second and third, two outs. Stevie Ray Braun, 58. This guy's all right. 2 0 Zona. Orlando Cepeda, 46. Single 108, base hit. Paglioni, 49. Second X. This is Dalton Jones, a 4 14 at second base. That's a single dot dot. You got runners on the corners for Josephson. 66, double one to nine, fly ball, and he does not get the, yeah, tough break there. That'll be a sack fly. Runner at first, one out for Don Young, 33, is a 6 4, 3 double play. 2 1 in the third. Paul Popovich, 2 5, is a walk. George Thomas, 1-8, is a single to right field. Popovich holds two on for easy Ed Herman, 36K. Jim Lytle, 49. Triple one, single dot dot, a single dot dot, and it's now a 3-1 game. Runners are on the corners for Larry Howard. 1-7, another base hit to right field. That'll score a run. Lytle will hold at second. Really disappointing start for Stan Bonson here. It's now 4-1 with two on and one out. And Dalton Jones is your batter. 66 is a walk. It's turning into a nightmare here. Bleffrey, 
two four is a fielder's choice. They cannot turn two, and then another run scores, and it's five one. Runners are on the corners, two outs for Philippe Alou. Bouncer to second. This is Bobby Noop at second base, and he makes the play. So, barrage of early offense for the Diamondbacks has them up by four. In the bottom of the third, it's Bobby Noop, one four, bouncer short. Capricio, two nine, single. Walt Williams, 48, is a walk. Two on, one out. Carlos Megan's lefty, 411, left X. George Thomas is a 410, is he? Yes, he is a 410 in left field. This should be an on base, and it is a single out dot. And it's 5 2, with runners on the corners and one out. Playing back for Bill Melton. Could tie it with one swing. 411, Melton, left X. Same guy. This time it's a triple off the four in left field. And we have a run, one run game, a two run triple. Runner at third, one out, Orlando Cepeda. 57's a K, and with two outs. Jim Pagliaroni, 48's a walk. Two on, two outs. Dwayne Josephson, 5'11", is a walk. And the bases are loaded, two outs for Don Young as they bat around here in the third. 3'11", bounces to third. And they cannot take the lead, they leave them loaded. Interesting game, 5-4. A lot of offense early. Stan Bonson in the fourth, trying to recover from a disastrous third. Braun, 49, is triple one single. Popovich, 46, is a walk. Two on for George Thomas. 58 pops the third. Ed Herman, 67, is a K, and with two outs, it's Jim Lytle. 55 rolls to second base. And no, he has not broken, by the way. He's put 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, but that's through four innings, so he's still good. Uh, and Pizarro, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Eh, if he puts three guys on this inning, he will break. So Bobby Noop leads off the bottom of the fourth, 312. Is a walk. A leadoff walk. Apricio, 58. Is a K. Walt Williams, 38, is a 6-4-3 double play. So both pitchers, hardly impressive, but still in there, not breaking. Larry Howard and the Diamondbacks with a one-run lead. 68, double one to three is a single. Dalton Jones, 2-7, is a K. Kurt Bleffrey, 37, single to center field. Howard does not advance to third. He'll stay at second with one out for Felipe Alou, 48. Flies left. Would have been a sack fly had the guy gotten a third. He's just not quick enough. Two outs. Stevie Ray Braun. 2-8. Grounds the first. 5-4. As we go to the bottom of the fifth. But first, mm -hmm. let's pause a moment for station identification. This is the Shrimp Trawler video channel. Este es el canal de videos de camaroneros. Bottom of five, Carlos May, down a run, 68 pumps a second. Bill Milton, 5'11's a walk. Orlando Cepeda, 47 is a walk, two are on, one out for Jim. Pag Leroni, 53, right X. That is Alou, a 3E4 in right field, a 3. E4 in right field, a fly ball A. Both guys tag up. You've got second and third with two outs. Pizarro has been dangling in the last three innings, precariously. It's up to Dwayne. Let's take a look at Dwayne Josephson's card before he bats. Pretty good. Uh, the White Sox, for whatever reason, had a couple 300 hitting catchers in this era. They had Gail Hopkins and Dwayne Josephson. Pretty interesting. So Josephson was second and third. The pitch, 1-9, hits the column with the base hit in the left field. That'll score one. Cepeda. A 13 runner, 14 15 against the zero. Thomas Arm runs and he runs into a brick wall at home plate on an 18. Tough break running the bases there. They get the two out hit, they get one run. A guy gets thrown out trying to take the lead, and we have a 5 5 in the fifth. 5 5 5. We go to the sixth inning now. Stan Bonson still in there against Popovich. 48 is a K. 
George Thomas, 1-6. Let's take a look at George Thomas's card. This is the type of player that goes to super expansion teams like the Arizona Diamondbacks. A guy with big numbers, but it only happened in uh, 110 plate appearances. So, catching lightning in the bottle for an expansion team. Uh, George Thomas doubles. Ed Herman with the lead run at second base. Ed Herman, 2-8. Let's take a look at Ed Herman. Boy, I love this card. Homer, 1-16. Double. It is gone. And the Diamondbacks take a 7-5, leading the sixth. Boy, what a bad day to be Stan Bonson. Jim Lytle, 56 is a K. And with two outs, Larry Howard, 66. Bouncer to short. That is Aparicio, and he makes the play. Bonson will leave after six. They have a chance to take him off the hook if they can get a couple runs in the bottom half. Bizarro is a starter, eight. Don Young, 210, is a walk. Bobby Noop, 24, is a unfortunate 5 4 3. Double play. And with two outs, it's Aparicio. 1 8, bounces to third. All right. Pizarro rebounds with his best inning. Now, in the seventh, Bateman uh, Bonson will leave. And we will bring Dave Lemons on in the seventh inning. He could do some work. Lefty out of the bullpen. Take a look at him here. And Dalton Jones will be the batter. Jones is actually going to stay in the game. Listen at lefties very well, but he's good defense at first base. 67 is a K. He will move over to first base. Bleffrey will leave. And the new second baseman will be Braun, moving over from third to first. And then the new third baseman will be this guy. Take a look at Jim Davenport. He'll be the new third baseman. So they improve defense at three positions in the switch. Dalton Jones goes from being a four at second to a three at first. Braun improves his defense going from third to second. And you have Jim Davenport replacing Bleffrey, going from a four to a two. So a nice defensive improvement for Arizona with a two-run lead. Davenport, 2-6, pops to third. And Philippe Alou, 45, is a sky to center. You also can bring in, if you'd like, if you're up for that kind of thing, you can bring in uh, Don Hahn to play left field. He'll come in for, yeah, George Thomas. And now you got defense everywhere, everywhere you want it. All right, Pizarro with a two run lead. And they have Jerry Bell in the bullpen if needed. Bottom of the seventh, Walt Williams, 2 9. Pops the third. Carlos May, 42 pitcher. Bill Melton, 1 4, short. We'll go to the eighth. Stretch time is over. We missed the stretch time music, but you get the idea. We're listening to old Tom Joe Bim here, 1967, the Wave LP. Beautiful. Da -na -na -na, and all that. Okay. Let's go to the top of the eighth now, though, with Dave Lemons in a second inning of relief against Stevie Ray Veron. 56 is a walk. Popovich, 1 6 is a 6 4 3 double play. And George Thomas, or Don Hahn, I should say. Don Hahn bounces to short X, and he makes the play. Bottom the eighth in the 7-5 game. Pizarro puts two guys on, we'll take him out. We like Jerry Bell. Orlando Cepeda. 2-6 is a single. The tie run is Jim Paglioni. He'll pitch to him, though. 56, triple one to two is a single dot dot. And that'll do it for Bizarro. Two batters in the eighth. And they'll bring in Jerry Bell in the eighth inning to try and get a two inning save with a two run lead. Let's take a look at Jerry Bell. No extra base hits on this card. He's a relief 4 7 and a rather unusual closer. Um, but when he comes into games, he usually gets two inning saves. And it just hangs in there if it goes extra inning. So, Burns on the corners playing back for Josephson. 6 12, first C. That will get a run in, and a runner goes to second base. Don Young. 2 6 is a K. And with two outs, it's Knoop. Bobby. 6 10, short X. Popovich. 3 21 at short, makes the play. 
We got a one-run game in the ninth. And we'll take Lemons out. We'll go with uh, Bob Humphreys in the ninth. Against Ed Herman, Lytle, and Howard. Here's Ed Herman. The hero of the two-run homer in the sixth inning. 38 is a grounder to second. Jim Lytle, 48, is a walk. Larry Howard, 47 against the right. He's a single to left field. Lytle has some wheels, 14. He's going to try and go coast to coast with one out, and he does. Up and hold now for Dalton Jones. 58, short X. This is going to be apparatio at short. And the runner hold thir uh, a third holds up there. The runner at first goes to second. You have second and third with two outs. It's Jim Davenport. 35, Davenport grounds to short. We'll go to the bottom of the ninth inning. Jerry Bell trying to get the save. All his defense is in. It'll be the top of the lineup. Aparicio, Williams, the bench, not very good. LaFay, Snyder, Weiss, they're all left-handed batters, but not very good ones. And Jerry Bell's slightly better against lefties anyway. So Louis Aparicio lead off the ninth. 1-8, grounded to short. Walt Williams. 2-5 is a bouncer to third, and with two outs, it's all up to Carlos May. Let's take a look at Carlos's card. Last chance for the White Sox to get the two-game sweep. Carlos May with two outs in the ninth inning. The pitch, 69 off of Jerry Bell's, a bouncer to second base. This is the new second baseman, Braun. He's a 3-E-34 at second, 3-E-34. You look right up there. And a GBA to end the game. Arizona. Boy, they needed that. And for the White Sox, yeah, tough break there. Not quite ready for prime time, it appears. Uh, let's see. So with the loss, the White Sox are back to a game over 500, which is good. Anyway, hitting a walk for, hum for Humphreys. Lemons walking a K. It was Bonson getting knocked around early in that game, and that was just too much. 11 hits, 6 runs. Excuse me. Uh, 11 hits, 7 runs. Uh, hit ball 7. 4 walks and 6 strikeouts. Jerry Bell, nice little save. 2 inning save there. He, uh, well, he gave up a K, struck out a guy, that was it. And uh, Pizarro with a win. 9 hits, 6 runs. Um, they were all earned. Walked seven, struck out four. A tale of leaving the pitchers in long. 1018, 0109, 712-69. 6-7-7-5. We'll have to go back to Arizona for the rubber match. Let's see at the composite box for the two teams. We also notice Arizona is really uh, getting a nice lead in the Commissioner Award category, which I'll get into when we look at the numbers for roster utilization. The White Sox, we've been now 12 and 11. Yeah, the White Sox are 12 and 11. They're hitting 237 as a team, the 397 ERA. Um, the Arizona Diamondbacks. Arizona is 11 and 14, hitting 270 with a 380 team ERA. They should probably be winning more games. It must be bad luck. Um, the Commissioner Award point total at this present time shows Arizona in this yellow box here with 444 and a third points. That factor is the fewest innings pitched by a player multiplied by the fewest at-bats by a player. And by doing that, you find out uh, which team is utilizing their rosters the most. And when you take that number for this team, it's 14 and third innings for Jerry Bell and 31 at-bats for Don Hahn. And you get that 444 down there when you, when you take that factor. So 444 points, when we look at the composite standings here, this will tell me who's winning the contest. And right now, Arizona is winning that with 444 points. Um, the Seattle Mariners have 300. 
You have uh, the White Sox at 283. And then you have the Yankees with 240. Those are the con top contenders at the present time for the Commissioner Award. Just kind of a neat little stat. The Commissioner Award, if you win that, you get a compensation pick. Compensatory pick in the next year's draft. It will be the 33rd overall pick between rounds one and round two. You get to get a player. So that's what teams who don't have a decent chance of winning the World Series, that's another strategy they can use to improve the team next year so they can win a World Series. We play 295 baseball games. Hitting 261, the league ERA is ticking up like a single point. The last four or five series up to 394. It'll probably tick back down once the uh, worst teams get eliminated. That's it today. Thanks for checking out the video. We'll see you next time.